I don't want to just land hard. I'm almost having that. I want to glide on and glide off. I can be very close to that by being, you know, put a specific placement of it. But then I can come even closer if I was to come in here and create a buffer zone. Not get too carried away with that. Because otherwise it just becomes blocks and pieces of stuff. A buffer zone is basically creating like your patch. This could be all kinds of detail here, but I want to come up to a place where I'm not gonna, I'm not going to go past my line, you know, like this when I want this to be the tonal edge. Okay, so if I do this ahead of time, or as I see the opportunities within my drawing, I can make sure that there's an even application of the pencil, and then come in here and pull out from that. If I have to have detail, I don't like flat blocks of value. And so I could keep coming in here and I could go across detail that I end up, I'm a little more controlled. I can start the, the uh, stroke a little more suddenly because that's where it's gonna be darker anyway. And uh, instead of fragmenting that line, which I did anyway, but you can still clean that up. And I like to, even in the darkest places, show that the detail went to the finish line when I can. I, I want it to go and complete all the way to its goal, and that is to that edge. So this is a buffer zone to make sure I don't end up with an obvious start and stop to my, my, you know. And then if I have detail, I can always go over it and make it darker, but you wanna make sure you don't make a grid. So you practice the patches and things and lay those lines down, you know, next to each other enough that you have that tone that has a graduation of tone from darker to lighter or whatever. There's some variations in there. So I hope that that helps you, you know, see what I'm talking about. This is, a, this is I did this on purpose, but still, it's a lot it's a lot easier in the long run to do this and to show that everything is getting darker as it goes to that edge and everything's coming to that end where you can see it but this is blocking our view it might be an eyelash uh, area of eyelashes on the eyelid but uh, there's many 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 places uh, even on this if we were to do all those lines this pinstriping of the shirt and all those things we could use that where we have a shadow. So we aren't having those pinstripes go out to an area where we don't really want them. We want to start and stop.